Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering one of the interview questions that is recently asked in a happiest mind interview. Given as an employee table, we have employee with all these values. If we look into the expected output, we need to get only records which is having an integer values. So if we look here, we have uh, one, two, three, four, four records with having an integer values. The other three records which is having a, some string values. So we should not get that in the output. So this is asked to solve in a SQL and also in a PySpark. So let's see how we can solve this. We are on the Databricks environment. Yes, this question is asked to solve in a PySpark and a SQL. So we can write uh, both the queries in the Databricks environment itself. Now you can see we have employee table with the employee ID column with all the values. So from this, we need to print only records which is having a integers. So to solve this, maybe I will be using a cast function. So we can uh, cast all the values into integer. So those values which is converting into integer will get as it is the same values. Those values which is not able to convert will get nulls over there. So we can filter not null so that we'll get only integer values. So let's see how we can uh, write a query for this. So this is the employee table. Uh, as I told, uh, we can use a cast function. So we have something called cast function. So by using a cast function, we can convert this employee ID values into a integer. So I can give cast employee ID as an integer. So if I run this query, see, so wherever we have integers, so those values it is converting into a same value. Wherever we don't have a integer value, we have a string value here string value is not able to convert into integer so we are getting a null over here if you are using any other environments like a sql server or any other uh, platforms um cast function may not work so basically cast function will give error uh, for uh, failing cast operations so tom cannot able to convert into integer so it may fail so maybe instead of a uh, cast function you can use a try cast function. So try cast function, uh, what it does to, it is like a similar to cast only, but a try cast function uh, will return the expression in the chosen data type. So whatever will have value, the value will get here. So in case if the value is not able to convert, we'll get a null over there. So maybe you can try using a try cast. So here we can use cast or try cast, anything we can use, you'll get the same output, okay? So in this way, we can check if the value is having a integer or string value. So on top of this, we can use a simply a filter condition by using a where we can have the same expression. Is not null. Yeah, now if you execute this query, see so wherever we have integer values converting integer so only those records were able to print it okay so in this way by using a sql uh, we can write a sql query in case if you have any other alternative approach you can post in the comment box so let's see how we can do this in a PySpark. so i'll be using the same table i will be converting into a data frame okay i'll take a no command maybe Yeah, so I'm reading a data frame here for employee table. So let's display it. Okay, so now we have data frame created with all these values. Now on top of this, uh, we can use a similar kind of approach in PySpark also. So we'll try to cast it. So if it is able to convert, those are the integer values. If it is not able to convert, that will get a null values. Same approach we can use in a PySpark as well. Uh, maybe I'll take a new command here. Okay, so let's try the query for this. So we'll be using filter here. 
to filter uh, the null values after converting into cast so we'll convert we'll convert this by using cast first so we have employee id so we need to um, we need to convert employee id into integer so i will cast it to a integer so if it is converting integer so those are uh, integer values if it is not converting integer there will get a null values so on top of this we can use a is not null so this will filter not null records wherever it is giving a null values those are string values so maybe i will write this result to a new data frame this will be our new data frame so if i filter this one and if i display it we'll get the expected output now now see we are getting only four records this is similar to sql query so if it is converting into integer those are integer values if it is not converting into integer so there will get as nulls so we can filter is not null we'll get only integer values so in this way by using a cast we can solve this in a sql as well as in a pyspark so that's all for this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of intro questions and answers